Hey you guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Hannah with Mitchell's Lawn Care. It's been a while since we gave you a house update and now that things have started to take shape inside, we kind of wanted to give you a little peek of what we're doing. So come on in. remember I told you guys um, before you got the peak of how everything's kind of taken shape um, we met with an architect and we just had an idea that we wanted to make use of every available inch of space inside the house so we want to show you guys a few of the little niche nuances of the home and and some unique things that we were able to put into a home that that only someone who is designing a home for the first time can kind of experience so as always we want all of your suggestions and feedback in the comments so one of the first places that we saw some available space as soon as you walk in the front door is under the stairs. And so, you know, I don't want it to be like a complete Pinterest house or anything, but this is a lot of wasted space normally. So we're going to have these supports taken out and we will have a finished space under the stairs with some drawers also in a void space under the stairs themselves. And then that way I will have room for not only my um, formal place settings, but also some seasonal decorations that I'll have space for. And just a, you know, just a cool little niche space under here. If you turn around, we've got our formal dining room um, with a space for a dining room table right here. So one of the conveniences of that is that I won't have my dining, um, my dining wear for guests and my fine stuff put away somewhere that's like out of place and out of reach for me in the kitchen. So it'll be right here and easily accessible. And it's also a really cool little, little space that we can finish out. And it's just a little eye catcher when you come inside. So we've got some decorative columns. And again, as we discussed in the first video, we wanted to make use of every bit of available space, you know, as little void space as possible and a very open concept because this isn't a huge footprint. We've only got about 1,600 square feet to work with in our footprint. So we wanted a very open communal living space. This is our two-story great room, so it kind of feels a little bit bigger. We've got our corner fireplace so that it's out of the way. And then we've also got room for an entertainment center that will be against the far wall that is also visible from the eating space in the kitchen. Right in this area, we're going to have a T-shaped kitchen island. So we will have a sink and dishwasher with a tabletop space here. And it's all going to be the same height. So it'll be counter height all throughout. So we'll have a shaped island here with a seated space here. Um, and we're gonna have some pendant lighting above. So we'll have room to prep food, especially during the holidays. Like I love to make cakes and cookies and Christmas candy. So we will have one even tabletop space to be able to prep food or to serve guests all at the same time. Um, along this wall is going to be all of our range uh, wall ovens. Um, one of the cool little things that I definitely wanted to have was a, um, a pot fill on the wall. So if you've got a heavy pot that you don't have to worry about, you know, bringing large pots out of the sink and over, um, over the floor, you've got, you can, the ability to fill a pot while it's actually on the stove, which is always nice. Um, we'll have cabinets, floor to ceiling cabinets here. And then what's also called a merging, merging into what's also called a drop zone here, which is where when you come in from the garage, you will have plenty of space to just kind of, you know, throw all your stuff around here into a um, cabinet. We haven't decided yet what we're going to do, but we'll probably work with the trim guy and just get some ideas about, you know, what can we do here? You guys leave us in the comments. What can we do here? So moving in, another easily accessible space is we're going to have a pocket door because we definitely didn't want to have a door opening into a door opening. So we've got a pocket door here and this is our laundry area. So another way I wanted to save space is have a stacked washer and dryer, and then a folding table with some hangers here. Um, I have like six different hampers. I don't know, I don't know, y'all let me know like if you have different kind of hampers, but Mitchell thinks I'm so crazy. I have a whites hamper, and then I have a non-foldables hamper for like underwear and stuff, and then I have a colored hamper and a bright colored hamper. So I've, I've got all of them. So those are gonna be probably somewhere in here to keep everything organized. Got a utility sink and another folding table. And then I'm super excited about this. My dad, my dad put one in our house when I was a kid and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So if you look right here, and this will make sense later, we're gonna have a laundry chute from the second floor. So I don't know about you guys, but I love convenience and I love um, 
having everything out of sight, out of mind. So I'll be able to throw the clothes in the floor upstairs and they will come out the laundry chute down here. We've got a beautiful, a nice, um, I'm not even sure how to, we're gonna have a enclosed, screened in back porch area. Um, we sacrificed with our front porch and made it a little bit smaller so that we could afford having a nice area to actually sit and spend time with our friends outside in the back porch. Because I, you know, for us personally, we, we thought we would spend more time together outside on the back than in the front. So now in this little niche area, we're gonna have our refrigerator. Um, that was originally supposed to be on the far wall, but we thought with opening the door, we wouldn't have as much space between the counters. So we've got the refrigerator out of the way. It'll be easy to access from the dining room or the living area in here. And this, y'all, I cannot even express how much I love. This is probably my favorite room in the house, okay? So this was an idea that I had. In the original plan, this was supposed to be the space for the bathroom or the powder room. And when I spoke with the architect, I just said, I've got to have a hidden pantry. Like, I don't, I don't care what I have to do, I've got to have one. So in the cabinet space, this is going to be full length cabinet doors and it will be brought out a little bit for the countertop but when you open this up you're going to have a hidden room back here with a pantry in it so if something happens if it goes down and the crap hits the fan you'll find me in the pantry so I absolutely cannot wait to uh to shelve this space and have like lots of storage and just lots of lots of good uh storage space in here out of sight out of mind so and completely hidden so this whole side of the house is the master suite which was Definitely something that uh, appealed to us having everything on the first floor. We've also got a, a little powder room. This is another thing when we talk with the architect about finding space. So this was more void space under the stairs. This is what enabled me, you know, it's a little give and take to have that hidden pantry. So I've got a little powder room with room for a toilet and a vanity. That's all you really need for your guests. And it also, you know, thinking about it, it keeps guests from having to be uncomfortable using the bathroom and then coming right out into your kitchen, you know? So you're, you've got a little privacy here. So we've got a coat closet coming into the master. All right, y'all, y'all, listen, y'all. Where should the bed go in this room? Because I think, I say that the bed should go between the windows long ways. Mitchell says that the bed should go here because he wants to look out the window. And I'm like, that is not how this works. Like for, for fluidity, what is it? Um, Feng Shui, for Feng Shui, the bed should be here so that you don't divide the room. You guys let us know in the comments, is Mitchell right or is Hannah right? Because the bed should go between the windows and the master, but I'm not gonna die on that hill. If he says it's got to go there, it's got to go there. So this is our bathroom. Now, moving back to that whole um, wasted space. In the original plan, because remember, like I'm, I'm creative, I'm not artistic, there's a difference. <laughs> So I can tell you what I want, but I'm, I find a hard time articulating it on paper. So the architect did a great job for us, but she originally, when we had told her about the master suite, she'd originally had the uh, closet here and it had a walkway in between. It had his and her master closets, big closets. And we just didn't, all that walkway, like it just didn't flow for us. So she actually, we had her flip the bathroom in the closet. So I'm super excited about this. This is going to be our bathroom space with a privacy room for the toilet and also more storage space. And then we will have room on this whole wall and I, y'all, I cannot even tell you how excited I am. Um, I found some beautiful tile on sale, some large 48 by 48 tiles. So we're gonna be able to actually afford to tile this whole wall and have the glass of the shower coming off of the wall itself. So um, we were able to take a smaller space and make it look a lot bigger. Um, just with visual effects. Moving on, we have our big old master closet that we love, that we sacrifice space elsewhere to be able to um, make some more space for our, all of our wardrobes. You know, you gotta keep in mind that, that we both have our, both job wardrobes and then casual wardrobes. So we've got all these, you know, all these clothes that are necessary for our jobs and what we do, and also some for fun. So we've got plenty of space and of course, Mitchell loves to fold his t-shirts, so we gotta have room for all that. All right, now it's time for the upstairs. So this is slash Mitchell's office slash a guest bedroom. 
So one of the uh, cool things about our plan with the architect, which is not certainly not for everyone, um, she had asked us specifically if we didn't mind pushing the walls out to gain more space, which who doesn't want that, you know? But if you look, our ceilings are going to be slanted on the sides because she pushed them out to a six foot wall. Now, um, what that does is that gives us, um, you know, quite a bit of extra space that we would have lost if she had stopped. So, um, we are going to plan on having some guest amenities on this side, like a full size day bed with some nightstands. And then Mitchell's office space, he'll have the ability to have all, pretty much all the space he has now in his office and room for some guests to stay, which would be wonderful. And he'll have a nice view too. All right, this is one of my um, favorite things about the house that I'm the most excited about. You guys gotta let me know in the comments if you're familiar with these. This is going to be a whole house fan system. So what that is basically is in essence an exhaust fan for the entire house. So you mount it at a central location where uh, the ceiling is highest right here at our two story foyer and living space. And when you turn it on, you're gonna open some windows or a door downstairs, turn it on and it will suck all, it will basically exchange all of the air in the house. And it prolongs the life of the fixtures and the appliances in your attic. It protects your shingles. It also helps, like it can dramatically cool your house in minutes. So this is a 7,000 CFM fan and we are really excited about it. This is one of those long-term investments that I was willing to pay more upfront for. This is about $1,500, but it costs you pennies on the dollar to run a whole house fan as compared to an AC. So spring and fall, not necessarily during the heat of the summer, but certainly spring and fall. Now also, if you're environmentally conscious, this has a much smaller greenhouse and a carbon footprint than an HVAC system. In addition to that, especially in a newer home like this one, in the heat of the day when you've got uh, new materials that are quote unquote off gassing. So I don't know if you guys have heard about that or not, but anything that you've got, you know, all the chemicals that are in today's world, um, they off gas. So they put out chemicals and they kind of, you breathe that stuff in. So this is a fantastic way, especially in a newer home, to suck those toxins out and get them out of the house so that you're not breathing those things, especially new carpet, new laminate, new MDF stuff that's coated with chemicals. All that stuff goes out, uh, the exhaust fan. So this is going to be, um, we didn't have a ton of closet space downstairs for storage. So this is going to be one of our storage areas, a finished space. Okay, this is my bathroom upstairs in our guest bathroom. It's got a double vanity. Um, we've got a little privacy half wall, fiberglass shower. I also found some tile on sale at Floor and Decor that I'm super excited about. And we will be tiling not only the floor, but also the upper surround of the shower. So that's, you know, it's a very minimal expense way to just kind of make everything flow and look a little more classy and put together. Um, this is, you know, of course, a linen and storage closet. Super excited about having a nice, big, brightly lit mirror in here with the windows, just lots of natural light. Now, this is, quote unquote, my room. Um, you know, with working alternating schedules, being first responders, Mitchell and I oftentimes will sleep separately so that we uh, preserve the life of our relationship and happiness because who does not like to be woken up all the time? So, you know, if he gets in at 3 a.m. and I'm getting up at 5, you know, clearly that doesn't work. So. I've got my own room and it's far away from the masters so that if we're, um, if we're resting during the day or one of us has worked overnight and we're tired, we're not disturbing each other. I've got a nice size closet in here that can also be used for guest storage. Um, definitely going to put a bed here so that I can look out the window because I don't have two. I've just got a double window. So I've got, all right, now here's another thing. Mitchell actually figured out what we were going to do with this. You know, like on a plan, on a one dimensional plan on paper, it's difficult to find, you know, to see things as they really are. So once this became framed in, this was actually supposed to be unfinished attic space with a little door. And Mitchell and I were just like, my God, this is a lot of space, you know? And, and we, wanted, we wanted to maximize efficiency and maximize space under the roof line. And this space was going to be here whether we finished it or not. So 
Um, originally when we met with the architect, I told her that I wanted a windowless room, um, to do like a sound and light deprivation area for when he and I are very tired and we need to sleep during the day instead of having windows that, you know, you can tell what time it is. So my sister has a windowless room in her home and I absolutely love it. You can sleep for hours and have no, you know, no interruptions, no light. Um, so we're going to make this a windowless room and that way if we want to take a nap or something in here we can, which is super exciting. This is the area over the garage, commonly known as a bonus room. So we're super excited about this space. <laughs> if you want to see me lose my mind, <laughs> there are wasps all up in this place right now. So anyway, um, one of the new uh, cooler ideas that the HVAC guy had, um, they've, you know, HVAC has come so far, so they are actually putting smaller returns in every bedroom and large room now, which is really cool, because when I grew up, you know, you had like one central return in your house, you know, so um, they are uh, a very efficient way of removing heat, and it also pulls, when they've got registers across the room, it pulls cooler air across the room, so the HVAC uses less energy and is more efficient, and it also cools the room better. So we're going to have a vaulted ceiling here with a ceiling fan. And then we will have a uh, room over here to um, watch TV, mount an entertainment center. We can make this, you know, we've had an idea to kind of do like a theater room here. So super excited to see how this turns out. This is um, one of those things that when we looked at the long-term cost originally, we just thought, well, we can't afford to, to have that. We can't afford to finish it out right now. And, when we met with our builder, he just said, you know, we, uh, we definitely, cost effectively, you want to go ahead and rough everything in anyway. And the difference was very minimal to just sheetrock it after you did that. So we have a bonus room and it's going to be finished and we're super excited. So we've come to the end of the house. I know that it's not like a huge house, but it's got uh, a lot going on and lots of little things about it that, uh, that we're thinking are kind of special. Oh, wait a minute. we got to throw something down the laundry chute. So in our windowless room, we're going to have a little guest vanity or something and a little TV in here, whatever we need, you know, and that way if someone were to come and stay with us, they could have a little place to stay. And we're going to have a built-out closet with a hamper here, and you can open it. Remember that hole in the laundry room? You're going to throw the clothes down there, and that will be our laundry shoe. So. All right, you guys. So I tried to stay out of this video completely, but Hannah would not allow it. So <laughs> if you enjoyed us uh, taking you on this little walk through through our new home and, and enjoyed Hannah telling you all the ins and outs of what we're going to be living in here in the next few months, please give the video a big old thumbs up. Smash, click, touch that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know the next time that we upload a video. We thank you so much for your support here on the channel. Uh, it's been overwhelming the last year and uh, excited where this adventure is going to take us. So, hope you have a wonderful day, a blessed day, and we'll see you next video.